Hey everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. I know that most of you who like uh, Bennett Klein will have this book. This is the only one I thought I really want and there's some marks on it but I'm not worried about that. It's got that lovely cover. So this is Colour My Sketchbook Bloom and this is the only one, I mean I've got one other book of his which is the original Colour My Sketchbook and I've not coloured in it because I found the grayscale really intimidating. So it's just a uh, same front and back. But when I saw Bloom, I think I watched a flip through and um, I saw it and I thought, do you know what, I really like the images. So, and he's, he's even given them names. So I'm not going to read the names out. I'm just going to have a quick look through them. And I thought that this one was really lovely. So I thought, I really want this one. Uh, and that's why I've got it. So let me have a look at them. Oh, that's quite nice. I just love the strangeness but I've been doing a lot more grayscale colouring with uh, with mostly with um, markers but I have done some pen ones that I love this one the lion and the it's a dandelion I just think it's so clever I, I love it I, I do I love it I think it's fantastic it's like a, yeah it's a dandy he's a dandelion and that was a rose in an ice cream cone I think that's just a brilliant idea So I'm hoping to colour in the original colour of my sketchbook very, very soon. I want to do some more practice with pencils though, because I haven't done much pencils with pencils in on grayscale, but I am trying to. But I mean, some of these are so simple. You wouldn't do much to that. And look at that kitten. Oh, it's so cute. And this is why I wanted it because I thought the pictures were absolutely adorable. Now some of the books that are just specifically a su one subject, they're not all available now. Uh, I believe most of the colour my sketchbooks are, which is good. And I probably will try and get some more. Um, but this is the only one of the ones that were like colour my sketchbook, mm, with a name after it, that I really, really wanted. So I'm happy to... As, oh, squirrel, that is so cute. I love it. I think it's fantastic. I mean, there's some of them you wouldn't do much to, and others you would do lots of different things with. This one's like a like zoo, like he's taken a photograph and he's zoomed in. That's why it's all blurry around the edge and focused on the on the inside. I love it. I think it's so clever. Like this one, I could see you would just colour this red, and it's because it's bleeding and that would be it you wouldn't do much else to it maybe the background if you wanted to and again it's the zoomed photograph look on this one that's almost like an atomic bomb going off isn't it and then there's this, this one. i love this one the girl with a flowery head <laughs> oh i love it i think they're just they're beautiful just beautiful so there we go and that's that and then at the back you just got some a thank you page from Bennett which is really nice I am in the colouring group of his and I've never actually posted because I've never actually coloured one so mm, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna do the roses one in there where I said you just colour it one colour um if you use the right shade of red it'll look really good so I'll have a look through my reds and decide what colour to use it might have to be an Everblend one I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have I will if I can leave links down below so you can find where to get this book if it's still available and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!